Hey guys, YouTube World 100 here. Alright, and I just wanted to come on here to just say Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah, the new year, as of right now where I am, it's less than two hours away now. I mean, it's already like after 10 o'clock as I'm recording this, and yeah, I just... Oh, wow, I just... Yeah, I mean, we are now at the end of 2019 and heading in to 2020. And just, wow. I mean... Now this, once again, just this year has really just seemed to have gone by just so fast. And yeah, and plus, yeah, of course, like we're not just entering a new year, but we are also entering a new decade. Yeah, because yeah, the 2010 decade is now like coming to a close and we are now entering a new decade with the 2020s. And just, oh wow, that is, this is just like so I mean, this decade seems to have just really passed by, and, I mean, really just, yeah, I mean, this has just really been just a huge decade for me, because just so much has really happened with me, this, for me, this last decade, like, um, and of course, like, I have, like, well, I've, like, now become, like, an adult this decade, like, when this decade started, I was only, like, in my mid-teenage years, and now I'm in my mid-twenties, so, yeah, just... Yeah, I mean, I've transformed into, like, a teenager to an adult now. And, yeah, this has just, like, really done so much. And, yeah, just really, like I said, just, this has probably been, like, the biggest decade that will ha occur in my life. Just because, I mean, just so much has happened this decade. Yeah, I apologize if you hear, like, all those fireworks outside. Like, you can probably hear some going off right now. Yeah, of course, like, with it being uh, New Year's Eve, a lot of people are just blasting fireworks outside, so apologize for all the times that you may hear, like, fireworks going off in this video, as you can probably hear going on right now. And I've just, like, been hearing this going on constantly this whole night, so, yeah. All right, but anyway, yeah, but yeah, this has just really been such a huge decade for me, and this is probably the biggest decade that will go on in my life, because as I said, I... I've now become, like, a grown adult this year, and yeah, just a lot of stuff has really happened this decade with me, like, it was, as the decade started, I actually went to WrestleMania, I was at WrestleMania 26, yeah, and this, this decade, I also have, like, done a whole lot of stuff this year, or, like, uh, I've graduated high school, I've gone to college, I've gotten a job, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, I've just, like, done so much this year, and plus, yeah, it doesn't even end there, like, I've also, like, attended the Royal Rumble, not once, but twice this decade, I attended it in 2013, and I attended it just this past year, so, yeah, it's just, this decade, I've actually been to two Royal Rumble events, so, yeah, and just really, just, yeah, so much has really happened, happened in my life in the last decade, and it's, like, been some ups and some downs, like, the ups of, like, everything that I had just said, and plus, yeah, I've also had some downs, like, uh, this decade, like, um, my grandma passed away, I told you guys about that back when it first happened years ago, and my grandma passed away this decade, and yeah, I have also lost two dogs, uh, this, uh, decade, and also, like, a couple years ago, well, yeah, this coming month, it'll be uh, two years, like, my dad had, like, spinal surgery done. And, yeah, and, yeah, it's just been, like, really filled with, like, a lot of ups and downs this whole decade, yeah. But, yeah, just, this has really just been a huge decade for me. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, this is probably, he's, ha, this will probably wind up being, like, the biggest decade of my life because just, it's just really been... Like, I've just experienced so much. Like, and so much has really happened. I mean, it's really, like, I just, like, transformed from a teen to an adult. And, yeah, just with all the stuff that's gone on, just, uh, this has probably been, like, just the biggest decade that will happen in my life. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, like, as far as how 2019 was as a whole, um... It was kind of like, I'd say it was all, an overall a good year. I mean, I did like kind of like go through some ups and some downs, downs this year. But I mean, still like I did overall, like the year I think was overall like good to me. I think this is probably like a good last year of the decade. Seriously, it just sounds like people are shooting guns outside. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, I've just, like, really gone through, like, a, a lot this 
this year. Like, um, I remember I told you guys last year that, um, I found a, uh, video game store right across the, well, not across, but right down the street from where I work, and I got a, a PlayStation 1 from there. And, yeah, this year I've just, like, really gotten a lot. Like, let me just show you guys this. Yeah, like, all this right here. This is, like, I've gotten, like, all these game systems right here. Like, uh, right up here you can see that I have a, uh, original Nintendo Entertainment System. Right over here, um, I have a, um, Super Nintendo right there, as well as a Sega Genesis. And then, yeah, over here, I have a, uh, PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64. Yeah, right down here, here I have a, uh, PlayStation 2. Right over here, I have an Xbox. And, yeah, here I have a GameCube. I've actually had this for a long time. Like, I haven't gotten this from that store. This is something that I've actually had for, like, like, I think close to 15 years now, maybe even longer than that. And, yeah, a PlayStation 4, which I have had for a while also. But, yeah, I've really just, like, gotten, like, a whole bunch of consoles well, this year. So, yeah, and it's really been awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I've really just, like, found a whole new, like, home away from home and a whole new hobby this year with, like, collecting all these game systems, and it's really been awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah, just, yeah, a whole bunch of movies have come out this, this year, of course, like, Avengers Endgame did come out this year, it's probably, like, one of the biggest films ever made. Hey, yeah, and yeah, well, and yeah, some other big films have also uh, come out this year, and yeah, just and yeah, just like some, there's been some like other stuff that's happened this year. So I mean, yeah. So overall, I do think that this was a pretty good year. So yeah, so yeah. Let me. So I guess I'll just like go over everything that I will go over like how this year, my year on YouTube has been. Yeah, and I'll just like go over what I've done this year. So, like I have, I have done the last couple of years. So yeah, so yeah, I guess I'll just like just like do a recap of everything that I have done on YouTube this year. So yeah, so this year I did like do like quite a number of retro wrestling reviews. Like uh, this year I reviewed uh, Vengeance two thousand two. I uh, I reviewed the. Uh, SmackDown Royal Rumble match that took place in 2004, the following SmackDown after Royal Rumble 2004. I also did uh, give my live experience thoughts on the Royal Rumble in January. Also, like, did a video, like, talking about, like, how it came off watching it on the network. Yeah. Yeah. I also did review a No Way Out 2003 as well as No Way Out 2008. And I also did review on um, the two Elimination Chamber matches from No Way Out 2009. Fine. Yeah. And then I also did a review of Backlash 2000 this year. That was one of my retro wrestling reviews. I also did review um, WCW Uncensored 2000, which is, yeah, all which was a horrible pay review. I just did that as an example to just show how horrible the WCW was at the time and just to show how much better WWE today is than how horrible WCW was, like, in their last couple of years. Here's, yeah. And I also did review um, SummerSlam 1989, as well as um, the Shawn Michaels Razor Ramon ladder match from SummerSlam 1995. I also did review Unforgiven 2003, No Mercy 2001, and I also um, did a review for Survivor Series 1994, as well as the uh, Team Awesome vs. Team Bischoff Survivor Series Elimination match from Survivor Series 2003, as well as uh, Armageddon 2002. Who? Yeah. And this year, I also... Um, um, have, like, have talked about a lot of movies that have come out this year. I did, some, like, quite a few videos giving my thoughts on various movies that came out this year. I did, I reviewed, um, well, not review, but uh, I gave my thoughts on Avengers Endgame, the Newman and Black movie that came out this year. You're on Toy Story 4, Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, uh, I also, uh, gave my thoughts on, um, uh, the uh, Joker movie that came out this year, as well as uh, Terminator Dark Fate. Eight and... Eight and, uh, yeah, those are the movies that I have, like, talked about this year. And, yeah, I've also done, like, quite a lot of other things this year. I did a review for Groundhog Day th 
So you're the movie Groundhog Day in honor of of like it actually being Groundhog Day. Yeah, I reviewed the movie on Groundhog Day this year, February 2nd. Like, yeah, I also did a video like uh, in honor of like Dr. Seuss's birthday. I counted down what my picks for the top 10 Dr. Seuss books. Looks I looks I also like counted down my picks for the top 10 best and top 10 worst for some of your theme songs. Longs I uh, reviewed um the uh phase three he uh, MCU films in honor of Avengers Endgame since yeah I had like done it a few years ago where I did review like all the MCU films up to that point. I mean it was like Iron Man through a Captain America Civil War and then yeah I did it for the phase three films this year for Avengers Endgame. And yeah, like I said, I also talked about Avengers Endgame with that. Yeah, and yeah, this year, of course, also, oh, well, I did like during the month of May, I did my usual thing dedicated to a certain subject. Like then this year for May, I uh, made I dedicated it to just Steven Spielberg movies, and throughout the entire month of May, I reviewed um just various Steven Spielberg movies, just some of his most popular ones like Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Indiana Jones films. E.T., Jurassic Park, and yeah, yeah, and just some of Steven Spielberg's other big films this year. Yeah, I just wanted to do that since I um, hadn't really um, talked about, gone over really any Steven Spielberg movies of all the movies I have reviewed on my channel, so yeah, I will do that this year. Oh, I also forgot to mention that uh, I also did I did a talk about um, Dark Phoenix this year. Yeah, Dark Phoenix was another film that came out this year, and that was another film that I talked about, yeah. And then also I did review the uh, Men in Black trilogy in honor of the new Men in Black film. Um, yeah, yeah. And then, and I also like uh, throughout the month of July I did the like review, who what I referred to as Marvel stinkers, which were like a lot of the pre MCU films based on Marvel characters that really he did not do very well. Here, well, yeah, and yeah, I did that month of July. I reviewed like the Blade trilogy and Daredevil, Hulk, the Fantastic, for, uh, two, the original two Fantastic Four films, films Ghost Rider, yeah, and movies like that. Uh, yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then I also did a video counting down what I my picks for the top ten saddest moments on Full House. Well, since, like, throughout, like, the show's run, there were, like, quite the number of sad moments on Full House, yeah. I also did a couple of videos counting down what I felt were the top ten best and the top ten worst wrestling video games of all time. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I then also, like, did a video, like, talking about, like, how, with the, how I felt that maybe, like, Asking if Crash Bash might get, like, a remastered edition in the future, like they did with the original th three Crash Bandicoot games and Crash Team Racing. Yeah, I feel that, that that could happen sometime in the future. I mean, I guess the possibilities are still there with it. But, yeah. And then, throughout, out like, the 13 days before Halloween, I then, like, did, like, Halloween re related reviews where I was, like, just reviewing just some... TV Halloween special similar to what I did for Christmas last year when I like reviewed some TV Christmas specials. I figured like split those. And those overall seem to do pretty good and people really like them. I wanted to do a similar thing, thing like that for ha Halloween this year. So yeah, I reviewed just some various TV Halloween specials like Scared Trekless and some Halloween episodes of various TV shows and stuff. Oh, yeah, and I also did, like, review um, the uh, four Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator movies, the ones that actually did feature Arnold Schwarzenegger in honor of Terminator Dark Fate. And, yeah, and then... Yeah, and I also, like, did a video, like, uh, talking about, uh, like, like, asking between, like, Fox Kids and Kids WB which one was better. And ever since, like, they seem to be, like, really true competing, like, um, um, TV blocks, like, like, during, like, the late 90s, well, mid-90s through, like, the early 2000s, wasn't, yeah, I also, like, in honor of Sesame Street's 50th anniversary this year, I did a video counting on the top 10 Sesame Street characters, and as well as in honor of Sesame Street's 5th anniversary, I also, um, um, reviewed all the, uh, feature, uh, the Muppet feature films that I hadn't gone over before, 
or like you know, pretty much like all the ones except Muppet Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island, because I had already gone over those two films before. Yeah, I reviewed all the other like Muppet feature films. Films, yeah. Films, yeah. And then yeah, for Thanksgiving this year, I also did a review of Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah. And then of course, I just finished off the year with with some Christmas of. Uh, with my uh, Christmas reviews with the uh, Christmas uh, TV, well, the made-for-TV and direct-to-video Christmas movies, is and I reviewed those, and yeah, it seems that, that those seem to do, like, uh, pretty good as well. I mean, yeah, I figured, like, similar to, like, what I was just saying about the Halloween specials that I reviewed this year, since, like, like those, my Christmas reviews last year seemed to do pretty good, I wanted to do, like, something similar, as I said, but, yeah, still have it be, like, movies again, so, yeah, and those seem to do pretty good, too, so, yeah, and, yeah, I've also, like, gained, like, quite a number of subscribers this year, like, I remember, like, I told you guys last year, like, when the year ended, I, like, had gone up to, like, 170-something subscribers, and now I'm up to, like, like, a 212 subscribers, so, yeah, I've gained, like, about 50 subscribers this year, so thank you to everybody that has, um, subscribed this year, and, and, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, and, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, like, I did, like, get quite the number of likes on the videos, like, especially, like, on my, um, on, like, the reviews that I've done this year, like, I, they have all, like, seemed to have gotten likes, and even, like, the videos that I haven't, really been about reviews have really gotten quite a number of likes as well so it looks like i i am getting like some more subscribers i re I really are like enjoying the content that i'm making so thank you to everybody that is really like supporting my videos and really liking them and i really actually like like tuning in and seem to be enjoying the content that i'm making so i'm glad that i can like make some videos for your guys enjoyment so yeah, and so, yeah, so 2019 overall, it has been a pretty good year, and this decade has just really been, like, really big for me, like, with everything that I was talking about at the beginning, with going to WrestleMania, graduating high school, going to college, getting my first job, going to the Royal Rumble twice, I mean, yeah, just, yeah, this has just been a really huge decade, and plus, this year, well, not this year, but yeah, this decade, of course, I was finally able to see The Rock live when I went to the Royal Rumble in 2013, so yeah, that was great, I to finally get to see The Rock live at a wrestling event, so yeah, that was awesome as well, and plus, yeah, I also saw, like, the, probably one of the greatest matches ever with Undertaker and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26, so yeah, now, so, I mean, yeah, this has really just been a, really, a huge decade, and it really has been, overall, yeah, like I said, the biggest decade in my life, and probably will remain that way, yeah, and yeah, overall, 2019, it has been a pretty good year, and I do think that this was a pretty good last year of the decade, so, yeah, so, yeah, overall, I would say that this was, has, was a pretty good decade, yeah, so and now, yeah, as we enter into 2020, with a new decade coming upon us, what will we be in store for in the next decade? I mean, will this decade be you, he good? I mean, I doubt it will be as good and, for, and big for me as this decade has been, but yeah, who knows what the next 10 years will have in store. We'll just have to wait and find out, but yeah. So, yeah, so I guess this, this pretty much covers it. So, yeah, I mean, a pretty, uh, so a pretty big decade and a pretty good year overall for me. All right, so, yeah, so I hope you guys did have a good year here. I hope, like, this decade really did do a lot for you. You, I hope that you did do, you, this decade was, like, good enough for you. I mean, yeah, if you, yeah, I mean, you can tell me, like, what you thought about this decade and just how 2019 was for you in general. Yeah, you can comment on my channel and just tell me, like, how the year and this decade was for you, and what you expect to happen in the next decade. Yeah, so yeah, just let me know what you, how your year was in your decade, and what you feel what will happen in the next decade. Yeah, all right, so yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say about this. So yeah, so happy new year to everybody. Enjoy the new year, enjoy the new decade, and yeah, just yeah, hopefully you, it's a good decade for you. All right, so I guess that's all I really have to say. So. Yeah, so I guess I'll just end it right here. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys later.